All right, guys, I'll put a different coolant temp sensor in this. It's a Delphi one, it comes with a new pigtail. <clears throat> um, I just put this in a few minutes ago and I took this for a drive around town. I went all the way through town, up and around. Um, came back through, did a little burnout here and there, which with these tires, you know, burnout literally takes just the slightest gas pedal. It feels a lot more responsive and it's been consistent. Um, and the only codes I have right now are for EGR and a map, which I think this still needs to be replaced, but that one I threw in there, it didn't like it, so I might have to try and order a different one. Um, but this is that with it fully warmed up. And I took off the air pump. I'm chasing a little bit of a scraggly noise. I don't know how to explain it, but uh, it sounds like a bearing going bad or something. So I think we might have a tensioner. Maybe the alternator needs to get, be, get tossed. Exhaust smells pretty decent. Um, I know it needs a new O2 sensor. It's got a uh, code while it's running, or for the dynamic test, that O2 back there is bad. So, yeah, that doesn't look too fun to get to. I'll have to figure that one out, but we'll get to that later. I'm trying to figure out this coolant temp sensor thing before you know we do any more work because I want the engine to run, be reliable, and then we can continue on with other stuff. I've got a video coming out uh, Sunday um, explaining some of my brain parts. I've been doing a lot of brainstorming and I'm not necessarily serious about some of the things that I plan on doing, like taking parts from this and putting it on this one. Um, now, I've already got stuff for that. You'll see in the next video. Um, but yeah, so I put this sensor in, been running it for a little bit, took it for a little drive. I've uh, got a brand new dash sensor in there. So that's where it sits at 185, 190 degrees. It's been sitting here for about five minutes. Um, that dipstick tube we need to repair because at high RPMs it shoots oil out. And, uh, a little embarrassing to be honest. So yeah, I think I figured this out. I'm gonna shut it off, let it sit for a little bit and see if it does that same thing again. Hoping it doesn't. We just gonna need to get it we need to get a different muffler for this thing. All right, gotta go.